to a new Maze Plus series. Um, this is going to be a bit of a mini series looking at whether we can run a profitable pig farm with the updates to the animal food additions. So running Maze Plus with the animal food additions and the enhanced animal system, we are starting on new farmer with pretty much standard medium difficulty settings um, and have pre-prepared around the farm that we're going to buy a bunch of the fields with the right crops so that we can harvest the crops and have um, the food that we need to feed some pigs I'm not sure how much we're going to get and therefore how many pigs we're going to be able to have um, yeah and I just want to see how well it goes trying to run a pig farm and can we make money um, so just quickly to look at the settings, as I said, normal economic difficulty. Um, we're going to go on two day months because basically we're going to run fairly quickly. Um, crop destruction, I think I end up turning off field stone off. No one likes field stones. So um, turning off all of the uh, AI worker buy stuff, probably not going to be using AI workers. Anyway, um, animals can die. Yes, need to make sure we keep them fed. Um, so let's save those settings and then we need to buy our farm basically. Um, I will stick the details of the map in the, in the description because I can't remember the name of it. It's by Kale, a map that I really love. And we're going to buy this pig farm up here in this top corner. Um, currently buying the pig farm plus field 9, 10 plot numbers are different to the field numbers um so i end up buying this whole corner at the end i end up buying plot 14 later on because we need a bit more land um i'm going to be keeping track of all of the finances so i have got a spreadsheet which i'm keeping track of everything that we buy and sell so we've got sugar beets in this field or two fields of sugar beets in fact because they were quite small we've got a field of wheat uh, we've got canola over the back here um, so this is our pig shed um, it can hold 540 pigs and we do have as I said enhanced animal system running um, we've got a silo bulk silo here so it can take anything which is going to be really handy and then a big ish field of canola so yeah pretty good some decent amount of shed space we're not going to have a lot of kit um, there is a slurry store I'm pretty sure manure is going to spawn in the shed bale storage we're going to need bales for bedding feed goes here i think and then a decent sized corn field because corn is going to be kind of the main feed um my plan is to try and grow most of the food um but we'll chat about that as we go through because there's some things that i'm realizing as we get stuff done i'm going to be doing a mixture of buying and leasing kit I feel like this decision was not a great decision. I did buy the combine. Now we're only going to really need it a few days a year. But actually no, we need a bit more because we've got four, three combinable crops. So maybe it wasn't a bad decision. It's only £56,000. So, yep. Um, yeah, so my, my initial plan for feeding the pigs is um, CCM for their main food and then canola, wheat and sugar beets. Um, with the amount that we get that kind of limits us to how many pigs we can have and we get an excessive amount of sugar beets um, and quite a lot of wheat and we can process the sugar beets into beet pellet pellets using the pellet production mod made by me um, and we could use that as their main feed as well so pondering that um we could sell the canola and buy brewer's grain and probably get more of that. Um, we could use the new grain mill and mill some of the wheat to get grain grist and use some of that. Um, so I'm kind of curious what you guys think about that. Um, maybe with the, for the first year we... we raise as many pigs as we grow food for and then in the next year we play games around maximizing it yeah i'm curious what you think um in this first video we're gonna get all of the crops harvested some of next year's crops planted so i do know how much 
we're going to harvest. And therefore, roughly how many pigs I think we can have as we go into the next cycle. Um, and it's not that many. So we'll, t we'll talk in more detail about that in the next video. Um, but yeah, so other things, obviously, if you haven't watched, you should maybe go watch my video on the animal updates to the animal food editions and pigs. Um, it is quite hard to make money from pigs. Um, it's quite important to sell the piglets early and to maximize the amount of money you make from their outputs. So we need to either get something like the mini PGA or the homebrew productions mod that I did a video on so that we are getting more from the slurry and manure than just selling slurry and manure. So something that I will be having a look at. Um, I will try and remember to make a note of how much slurry and manure we produce so that we can do a comparison of if we just sold it versus putting it through whatever we put it through to maximize the returns. Yeah. Something I'm not planning to do is use the, the farm supply pack. So that lets you buy lots of crop really cheap. And if you, you know, if you just want to do that, you can. That's how I did the calculations for that video. Um, so that's, I think, 5,000 litres of crop for a £1,000. Um, and that, you know, you, you could you could sell all the crop you harvest and buy a lot more, apart from things like sugar beets. So, yeah. Anyway, so we've got the, the wheat harvested, I think maybe the canola as well at this point. And it's time to start replanting things. Um, got the straw baled off of the wheat as well. And we're going to get ourselves a cockling a jockey. No laughing at the back, children. It's a really good direct drill. Not running precision farming. Um, but yeah, direct drill saves us doing any cultivating, that kind of thing. Um, but we'll be getting the John Deere mulcher plow thing that I use on some of my Let's Play series. Because that's really cool for, for getting stuff done. Um, and we're going to plant canola in this field. Because it's slightly bigger than... So field 9 that had canola in is going to get corn in. We're going to put canola in this field. And we're going to buy this grass field. And put canola in there as well. But yeah, we've got 32,000 litres of wheat so far. 27,000 litres of canola. We really need more wheat than canola. Which is why I'm planting this field with canola um, and the bigger field 9 is going to be corn field 12 will end up being wheat um, yeah can't remember why I made those decisions it's taken quite a lot to actually record this first episode of this video um, like two weeks so I'd hope to get this done a bit earlier but it's been a bit of a, a bit of a slog to get recorded so yeah Hoping the next episode will be a bit quicker. I want to do it. Might be once a week. Would like to do more than once a week. So the next one will be focused around getting the pigs in, getting them fed, getting more of the crops planted. Um, which I think most of the rest of the crops. We need to get the wheat planted actually, before we can progress through the year. Um, which means we're going to need to get the field that had corn in it ploughed. Um, but that's okay with the with the plow that I end up buying. That's not too bad a job. It's a slightly cheaty plow. It's actually a real plow, so it's not really cheaty. But, um, and actually, it's probably appropriate for plowing corn because that's what it's designed for. I think because it mulches and plows in a single pass. Um, anyway, I'm kind of kind of rambling, but that's what we do here. So yeah, canola going in here. Canola going to go in the um, the field where I had the combine delivered. I'm going to be buying that and we'll get that ploughed get that planted with canola as well um yeah and as i said this is a bit of an experiment um 
I've been kind of trying to decide how to tackle it to see what's what's going to work and I do think for the first year I've been an amusing options I think for the first year we'll run with what we've harvested and then we'll maybe add in the the pellet production so that I can turn some of the excess that we've got things like excess sugar beets into sugar beet pellets so we can use those alongside the CCM for the 40% feed um, and yeah we'll do maybe do that then um, we'll maybe look at buying brewer's grain and selling the canola that the price difference is going to be a lot bigger um, maybe instead of growing all four crops we look at um, focusing on growing more corn um, or we do if we're going to get into making the feed pellets we grow a lot more sugar beets make feed pellets from those and rather than feeding beet pellets and beets we feed something other than that I mean, I'm thinking of growing something other than sugar beets in the next cycle anyway so lots of options for feeding um, the other thing is with running enhanced animal system we're going to be getting on average 10 piglets per litter rather than a single one but that will help with profitability my plan is to sell the piglets at one month old because the um the placeable we have here has automated watering so we want to sell them pretty quickly because the water bill is going to get pretty big um yeah and that way as well will be why where our food supply is limited at the moment that will help with maximizing that return and as i said i'm going to be tracking all of the costs all of the income and so we'll see you know we started off with one and a half million pounds um how's our return looking for that investment of one and a half million pounds every year i know that pig farming is much harder versus um you know like if you're running a, a, a holstein dairy farm with maize plus by the time you've got a decent sized dairy farm um, yes they eat quite a lot but you get so much milk coming out of them that you're very quickly getting profitable whereas with pigs you don't get pig milk obviously you do get the um the piglets and selling those is where the money comes from um the other way to really increase the profitability is with the butcher mod but i don't want to use that on here necessarily yet i guess the, the things we'd have to pay for the butchery and that's quite expensive quite expensive production so. yeah so this is the plan we've just finished plowing that grass field in obviously um we still need to roll the canola field we've planted and we're going to plant another canola field um because canola is 30% of their feed with how we're doing things um, I should have had open the uh, maize plus animal food additions because I can then talk about the different options for the feeding so let me grab that very quickly because I don't have it all memorized in my head as much as some of you may think that I would I used to know quite a bit of it but yeah so for the different groups we've got um the concentrate group which is the 40 percent one so that's ccm or ccm or also fermented or unfermented ccm grain grist mineral feed or feed pellets and um, so feed pellets are sugar beet pellets essentially um so you can either buy those or you can make them and i'm not sure what other options but i have my pellet production building so that's what we're going to use um unless there's another way i don't know if there's a smaller production that can make them if there is stick a comment below and let me know because placing a production building is not my preference um but buying most of the other things is going to be quite expensive so it's kind of what i was thinking for that if we you know we can grow quite a lot of sugar beet and my production does them at a ratio of 50 percent but still really quite good um we've then got the next group which is protein food so that's soybeans canola or brewer's grain buying brewer's grain is quite cheap and that's what i might do in future years um 
we've then got the energy food and that's either wheat beet pulp maize or sorghum again we could buy beet pulp beet pulp is really cheap to buy but and we're feeding half of their food as beet products really want to do that uh, wheat's really well yielding so i went with that um maize or sorghum we could do but i think wheat's the best of those i'm not sure on you maybe maize is pretty good as well um and then the last one is basically um it's moisture food and that's either root crops or chopped maize so as delivered potato cut potato sugar beets actually it's sugar beet cut so i'm going to need to get the cutter and count it on that or carrots or chopped maize so uh, yeah chopped maize might be might have been a good one because that's um but the forage harvest is a very high yield so um maybe i would have been better to swap those round actually and forage harvest some maize or that and then do the 40 percent group with the feed pellets um yeah that might have been more efficient use of land so i've rolled now rolled those fields realize they needed liming so we're going to line them before the crops germinate i know it's not ideal but we need to maximize the yield so yeah um some options for uh, the i had the delivery point set to the store so i just went and grabbed it some options for maybe tweaking maximizing the land usage better um particularly if there's a production a smaller production to get those feed pellets i'm not sure if there are um buying them is quite expensive i think so yeah And obviously I'm going to have to spend a couple of grand for the sugar beet cutting or the, the cutting bucket, the ruby. Um, but that's okay. Um, and I might grow carrots next year to do the root crop. Or potatoes. You know, so we don't have to cut them. Um, and we could then... Uh, I don't know whether potatoes yield higher than chopped maize. Um, that's an easy calculation to check before we get into planting because if that was the case we could do potatoes um, beet pellets and then we could buy the other two mm. except I've already planted canola so we could sell the canola eh, so many options there are so many options for how to tackle this stuff it's uh yeah it's a tricky one really to uh to think of the best way to demonstrate and that's why in the past when i did a lot of these um like the recent ones i've just done the calculations of if i buy the stuff how does it work out uh, when i first did the most profitable animals videos before maze plus came out i was buying food either buying base game food or using the farm supply pack to buy food because there are an infinite number of, once you get away from like chickens where it's farm wheat feed wheat you're done or like base game with cows where it's like make grass signage make hay make feed um, the combinations are so vast that yeah it becomes really difficult to have an optimal way of feeding I think because um, you know you could say the optimal way is you grow the best cash crop sell it and buy the cheapest food um, and yeah maybe that is the optimal way to do this I mean, grow fields of soybeans sell them and uh, buy in the cheapest food through the farm supply pack and maize plus I wouldn't do that so yeah uh, I brought a wind rower because the combine we used has quite a small header can be asked to do twice as many trips around the field with the baler really it was a bit of a waste but I'm so used to farming things where I do silage work but I would need a wind rower you know. Oh well. Um, so yeah, canola planted, rolled, limed. Um, we've still got 
corn and sugar beets to get harvested and then we'll be able to start getting that and hopefully you can't hear my dog snoring in the background it's clearly been a tough day for him it's clearly been a tough day yeah so field nine is going to be our corn field next time so we get a lot more corn hopefully um, two fields of canola should give us a lot more um, and I do think we can play a lot more games with the food uh, potentially no pigs aren't fussy are they have you watched Snatch I don't know why I ended up showing so much liming um I so said this video was recorded over like two weeks. So yeah, things got a bit random. Um, the corn's ready to harvest. Got this lizard 8x50 header, four meter header, only 10 grand. So seemed like a pretty good deal. I was worried about going too big with header with a low horsepower combine. So this is the one we've got. Um, yeah. I'm going to get this relatively large cornfield harvested. Um, we've got a decent amount of corn actually, but by the time you think about it, you've got to feed the pigs for a year off of it and the piglets. And because we're getting, on average, 10 piglets a time, then the food bill is going to start to add up pretty quickly, um, even with the reduced food consumption. So, yeah. I might actually be being a little bit conservative with how many pigs I think we can have. Uh, but I don't want to run out of food and there is every chance I've got the math wrong. So if I have, we can buy food. Um, I'm not averse to putting down the May Plus buy points to buy extra of any of the grains that we need. Particularly if we get to the point where we are not ready to harvest our crops next year and the pigs have run out of food because we don't want them to die um with with the updates around food additions but i'm saying that a lot and um, as the pigs get older they produce more manure and slurry which is one of the things that we need so yeah um, but i think using those buy points in they're included in maze plus makes it a bit more, I say more legitimate than using things like the farm supply pack and I'm not saying those mods aren't legitimate but I think they fit more with the style of how I'm trying to do this so that makes any sense at all hopefully that makes sense I, don't, I feel like I'm not doing a brilliant job of explaining the concept of this but hopefully in amongst all the rambling you get the idea and the crashing so a few questions for you guys um thoughts on how i'm tackling this in terms of year one we'll feed what we've got hopefully i'll get the maths right we buy the right number of pigs and things work out and we see how much money we can make from this patch of land that cost you know we were able and this farm we were able to set up with the starting money um and then as we play through that first year, which we'll do fairly quickly, I can't see it taking more than another video or two, um, we'll think about strategies for next year. And I'm interested in your input on those. The other thing is, should we use the mini BGA or should we use the homebrew for our selling of the um, manure and slurry? I'm not sure which of those is the most profitable. Someone did ask me which was the best. I don't know. Um, but yeah. And I think the homebrew production is cheaper to put in. And it's a smaller patch of land that it takes up. So maybe that's where we start. Uh, and yeah. and But with the other one, you know, we're going to be getting electricity and methane. It's methane to sell versus solid for liquid for herbicide which we could use some of on the farm so we reduce our costs um, yeah so I'm not really sure which one of those is the most profitable but one of them comes with the benefit of getting products that we can make use of 
Um, although with the BGA we get digestate, so we can again make use of that fertilizing our fields because we could do a double application fertilizer before we plant. So, yeah. So, what, which do you think we should go for? In terms of breed of pig, that doesn't make any difference. They're the same, so I'll pick the one that I think is going to look interesting in a thumbnail. Um, we will have to get a ball because we're using enhanced animal system. I will do that rather than paying for insemination from the vet. That is going to also, um, because of the way the percentage work is going to stagger the piglets through, which is going to be interesting. Um, so that's the corn harvested. Now it is time to harvest the sugar beets with my favorite mod, the Forstrut K. S6B, if you've not watched me play much farm sim, then you may not recognize this. If you're a regular, you guys will recognize this. Um, yep, it's pretty much my favorite root crop harvester. It's small, it's cheap, you don't have to fap about. Um, and yeah, we've got these two fields of beets to get harvested. Um, and once we've done that, that's us set to get our pigs in the next video. Um, yeah, and basically I'm going to buy um, a bunch of sows that are as mature as we can get because of the manure production side of things and a boar. Um, and we'll just fill up the feed and progress through time and get piglets and sell piglets and make money and... Uh, I'll run through, maybe at the start of the next video, I'll run through the finances of where we are once we've brought the pigs. So what does it cost us to get to the point where we've got animals? And um, I mean, I guess it's pretty obvious. We, uh, we've only got 200 or 1,000 pounds left and we started with a fair bit of cash. So, you know, buying, obviously buying the land costs a lot. We don't lose any money buying land because my land doesn't change value in farm sim. So, yeah it's not a massive problem but yeah and i think with with most most setting up farms in farm sim it's going to take you a few years to get profitable and that's probably going to be the case here and um i think you know quite often when you actually play farm sim normally you don't just do one thing you don't just have pigs and only farm pigs you do contracts and you diversify and stuff we're not going to be doing that Anywho, harvesting is done, so, um, we, uh, yep, that's everything harvested, so, in total, I've got the numbers in the spreadsheet here, so we got 40,000, just under 41,000 litres of corn, um, we got 27,000 litres of canola, 32,000 litres of wheat, and 110,000 litres of sugar beets, which is why I was talking about maybe processing the sugar beets into feed pellets. So, next time, we will use that to get some pigs um, and cycle through getting piglets and selling piglets and see how we get on with turning this into some income. So, yeah, hope you found the first video interesting. Gives you a hint there, we spent about a hundred or well, about 1.2 million pounds so far. Um, thanks for watching. Comments, questions, or suggestions below. And I will see you guys next time.